Hi, how, Hi. how was the sleigh ride? It was fun. And the horses had shingle up all over it. <laughs> really? Didn't they did. Yeah. Yeah, they did. Daddy said it was just like when he went sleigh riding with Mommy. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was. <laughs> Hey, let's get you out of this coat so you can have some of Grandma's hot chocolate, huh? Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, Just I'll put him on the bed. Oh, okay. Let's go. Okay. Let's go. Scotty? Look a many miles away. Oh, that uh, sleigh ride reminded me when Dominique and I went up to... The quarterman cabin a few years ago. You ready? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Mm. I think you have to... What? Say, say giddy up. Giddy up? Giddy up. Of course you do. You say giddy up and then he goes. Giddy up! You know, you are... Giddy up! You are absolutely How about crazy. this one? You're How about... a lunatic! Uh-huh! Whoa! There it goes. Whoa! See? Nothing to it, huh? Can I drive a horse or what? She was so beautiful. Well, that ride must have stirred up some very happy memories along the way. Everything about being back here in town reminds me of Dominique. I thought that it was going to get better. But it's just gotten worse. I miss her a lot. I know. You know, in some ways you will always love Dominique, but sooner or later, you have to move on. No. No, you don't understand when she died. That was the end of love for me. <clears throat> oh, man. Is everybody in this town in love? I can't turn my head without seeing couples. Couples, couples. Yeah, there must be something in the water. Well, either I better start drinking from the tap, or I might as well just sign myself up for the New Year's Eve shift right now. Because I'm about as close to finding a date to watch the ball drop as... you. Poor baby. Oh, well, come on. Look around. I mean, there's Joe and Karen acting all lovey-dovey like those little muskrats in that stupid song. Julie and Frank are like overactive teenagers who can't keep their hands off of each other. Even Matt and, and Grace. I mean, they're like starting to look all monkey-faced, too. So? Don't you feel left out? No. I don't go for that sloppy, sentimental stuff. I kind of figured you didn't either. I don't. Well, then why all the morning? Because I miss it. Before I met Ben, I totally still believed in love. Now I'm just so darn jaded. I don't think it's ever going to happen to me again. What could be so important that you needed to see me right away? Well, I um, haven't exactly been sleeping very well since you told me all that information about Scott. In fact, I don't even know why I started listening to you. Scott being guilty of kidnapping Serena is not my fault. I merely want you to know the facts. Well, I, I don't believe anything that scummy drug dealer said about Scott. I, I do not believe him at all. Then why are you here? Because it, it just all keeps nagging at me. Scott had drug debts, gambling debts. He opened a secret account in the Cayman Islands to launder the kidnapping. See, room. now that is where you're lying. Because I went down there. I did not find anybody who had seen Scott in person. Excuse me. In the Cayman Islands, fishing with the bank president. Where did you get these? I have my sources.
I got a message from Lucy. You were supposed to set up the time and the place for some fight you guys were supposed to have? Right, right. You should call her, have her hightail it over here right now. Nice big audience. You think I don't know what you're up to, huh? What? <laughs> this scheme is just really a ploy for you to see more of me, isn't it? <laughs> Where'd I go wrong? <laughs> I'll give Lucy the message. All right. You should stick around, though, because it's going to be a really big fight. I mean, this is going to be our, our big breakup. All right, well, I'll get a ringside seat. Okay. See ya. See ya. What? I'm just thinking about you and Karen, a cabin in the woods, no one around for miles, two beating hearts. Huh? Frank. Looks like the perfect opportunity to me. And what yeah. about you and Julie? Alone in the house for the entire weekend? Now, that's different. You two are going away on a romantic get-together. No, no, it is not what you think. Right. Like, like, you're going up to a cabin in the woods just to hold hands? Yeah, what's the matter with that, yeah. huh? Because you can do that right here in the living room watching TV. Like Frank, I don't think Karen is ready for more than that. I'm ready. Believe me. It's just that, you know, Joe isn't. Why? He says because he thinks I'm not ready. You know, at first, he wanted to, you know. <laughs> but I didn't, you know, I was still married. And then, uh, well, I wanted to, but he didn't. He didn't? No. He's a good Catholic boy. Oh, so? I don't know. Maybe he's saving himself for marriage. Who said anything about marriage, huh? You know, we have a lot of getting to know each other to do. Not like you and Julie. Oh, forget it. Uh, you know, I've seen you two together, Frank. She is just waiting for you to pop the question. I have no time for marriage. After getting shredded at evaluations, I'm concentrating on being a good doctor first. I've got two careers going as it is, but... Man, there are times... Sometimes I'll look at him and... Julie is so pretty and sexy. What am I going to do here alone with her all weekend? It's going to be a long weekend. So Joe and I decided we made a pact. Not going to sleep together. No. But you're going to be in the same room, probably the same bed. Oh, I know. I know, but... We're adults, you know. We can keep our emotions in check. I remember once with Frank. In the shower. Downstairs. It was crazy. It was so sudden and powerful. I think it scared us. Well, yeah, because, you know, the problem is once you start sleeping together, <clears throat> the whole relationship changes. It's a whole new ballgame. It's exactly what I've been trying to tell you. It's called commitment, right? I want that eventually, but I'm not ready for it yet, are you? No, definitely not. You know, I've been stung once. Uh, Karen is still getting over her divorce, so I have to be careful. Hope you have enough sense to take one of condoms. Will you quit? It's not like we're going up there to jump each other all weekend, Frank. Lord, give me strength. Well, wish me luck, huh? Good luck. Yeah. <laughs> oh, here's Scott. Scott. There you are. I've been looking all over for you. You have some explaining to do, pal. What are you talking about? I know that you were in the Cayman Islands. Oh, who told you that? Rex? You haven't got the sense God gave a goose. You know he's lying. I wish I had the sense to pay attention to what you were really up to. What's that supposed to mean? Scotty, Lucy, now that's enough. No, Gail, it is not enough. You need to hear this. Do you have... A gambling problem. Look, now, come on, oh. you two are allies. This is ridiculous. Yeah, you know what's ridiculous, Lee, is that none of us noticed this. I also think you happen to have a drug problem, don't you? I'd like to just break your neck right now. Fine, go ahead. You know, it wouldn't hurt as much as my heart breaking knowing you lied to me all this time. You know what? He's, he's lied to all of us. I even think you're lying about kidnapping Serena. Oh, come on. What has Rex Stanton promised you that you would turn on me like this? Oh, this is good. That's what you do, isn't it, Scott Baldwin? You always make it about everybody else but you. You don't deserve custody of Serena. Well, I got a news for you, Lucy. Nobody is going to stop me from getting custody of my daughter. Not you, not Rex, nobody. In fact, I want you to stay away from me. I want you to stay away from Serena. Scotty. Yeah, no. No, I mean, I, I don't want you filling her head with all your little lies, walking around your little slinky dresses. I don't want any of that stuff around her anymore. You know, if you see her walking down the street, you just walk on the other side, all right? And if either one of you let her see her, they'll be held to pay. Hey, 
Hey. Oh my god. That was the best fight I have ever seen. If you guys ever want to sell that stuff to pay-per-view, you will make a mint. So you think they bought it? Oh yeah. Are you kidding me? I knew it was a setup and I believed it myself. Well, I got a history with Lucy, you know, and uh, I'm getting pretty good at lying to my parents, and my daughter and my friends. It's all going to be worth it. When you nail Rex, people are going to understand. Uh, listen, uh, wait. Will you close your eyes? What? Close your eyes. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now, what I want you to do is just to point to a hand. Feel a hand. Mm, this one. Okay. Here you go. God! A present. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh, open it up there. Oh, my you know, gosh. Merry Christmas. I didn't get you anything. Then let me have it back. No, 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 no. It's mine. Mine, mine. <gasps> uh, okay. God. Now, the charm is significant of, well, it's the first time I was, was nice to you. For example, you know, it was the pizza I sent you. I remember. I was so starved. I almost passed out. <laughs> you don't seem like the type of guy that likes to shop. This must have been so hard for you to find. Well, I had my uh, secretary, Rhonda, run around town, and uh, she oh. found it. But you thought of it, and that's all that matters. I love it. Thank you. Uh, I'll, uh, let you know when your next assignment is. Okay. Uh, bye. Bye. You're not gonna believe this. Try me. The spare? Yeah. It's flat. You're right. I don't believe you. No, it's true. I meant to get it fixed, but... But you forgot. Yeah. Oops. <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> Let's see how far away from civilization we are. Okay. <clears throat> okay, did you, did you make a, a left or a right at Trotter's Lane? I made a left. Why? Oops. Let me see. All right, so we're nowhere near the cabin, and we are miles from a gas station. It's getting late, and, uh... We have no way to fix the spare tire. Oops. You know, it was bad form to admit he didn't buy it himself. Well, maybe he wrote the check out himself. That counts for something, doesn't it? Actually, uh, she probably writes his checks for him, too. <sighs> but hey, at least we have each other. Ooh, great. Here's to another crappy year gone by. He actually threatened me. He didn't once try to explain about his gambling debts or his drug use. Do you know, I told him he was a low-life liar. I, I told him now I realize he's been lying to me this whole entire time. Well, he must have hated hearing that coming from you. Well, then he did something that I will never, ever forgive him for. He told me I could never see Serena again. Obviously, you don't know Scott as well as you thought. How did he manage to hide all of this for so long? And how did he live his life like this? Well, now you know what I've been up against. Well, now I see what Serena is up against. I never thought I'd say this. But I will do anything it takes to get that little girl away from that man. All right, well, I guess the best plan is for you to stay here in the car while I go to the gas station. Right. And some psycho axe murderer comes and chops me up into bits. No, I don't think so. Did anyone ever tell you you have a dark side? Look, it's dark and late, very cold, and we're far away from a gas station, so let's just... Let's just sleep in here tonight, okay? Yeah? Yeah. Oh, all right. I guess we can take these out. All right. Yeah. Uh. Mm. 
That's good? Yeah, that's good. Okay. Oh. Well, at least we're close. Yeah, closer than I ever thought we would be. Yeah, I bet. All right, so I thought about it, but I didn't think it would actually happen. <laughs> Me neither. coming to me with the facts, and I appreciate your perseverance. Well, you're entirely welcome. And now I I will be going, and I will just show myself out. As you wish. Good night. Good night. How much did you hear? Everything. What do you think? I think I never trust something this opportune just dropping into my lap. It's much too easy. But as long as Miss Coe thinks I believe her, I can use her to discredit Baldwin. How far do you think she'll go to prove she's changed? Finding that out, Counselor, will be the fun part. I'm telling you. This has been a sad, pitiful holiday. Complete bust. Oh, I'm sorry I didn't mean to do that. That's all right. It's just an accident. I mean, if you had meant to, you'd have to throw it. You are Bennett. I'm a hotshot surgeon, and you're squat devil. <laughs> all right. Okay, okay. This is for Greg Cooper. May his intern stocking days be over, and his counting his toes days be for a long time to come. Ah! <laughs> I gotta do Devlin again. He okay. crashed me okay. during evaluations. Okay. Ooh! And this is for Scott, that sentimental basket hey, case. Hey, <laughs> Scott Baldwin, what did he ever do to you? Nothing. Scott has never done anything to me. What about you? Do you do nothing, too? Dominique. 
On Good Morning America Sunday, imagine sending your kids to a school with no teachers, no report cards, and no homework. It's a new relaxed approach to education that some parents take very seriously. Good Morning America Sunday.